Not very subtle, guys. Wedding's over. It was awesome. I'm on the road now. I got a bunch of stops planned and not a whole lot of time to, to do them. First stop for a drive through is a place called Cheddar Gorge. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'll give you a drive through it. Made it to Bath, parked the car, trying to find my way out of the garage here. Oh good, it started raining. I was worried it, it wouldn't rain. Uh, make for a fun skateboard around town. So I came to Bath for one reason. Museums and Stonehenge and other sites, wicked expensive. Twenty, thirty dollars just to go in and walk around. Sometimes cost prohibitive. in Bath, which, okay, but I thought the Romans were here like 1,500 years before 1482. Maybe it's the oldest English house. Uh, so this is Pultaney Bridge, built in the 18th century, famous because it's not really a bridge. Well, it is a bridge, but it um, has shops on both sides, so it feels more like a little town. It doesn't really look like a bridge from the inside, so look. Alright, so that was bath. Quick and dirty. In and out in about an hour and a half. Saw some things. Alright, onward. I'm starting to get the hang of driving on the left. Uh, I've been on the road for like two hours and I've only died. I've only almost died like four times today, which is pretty good. Hey! So I just got to be buried up in the uh, Cotswolds, as they call it. It's a part of the part of like central England that still feels very old, very medieval. The houses and everything are still like as they were in a lot of development. Bridges are super quaint and cute and everything. And, uh, yeah, we'll look around. I like to get the atmosphere quite right. Behind me is the Beebury Trout Farm. Gigantic farm filled with trout. They have a cafe that serves nothing but trout. It's close, so I missed it. I think that's enough out of Beebury. Thank you, Beebury. Onward. So originally I was going to uh, go into Wales to a place called Snowdonia, Snow Snow which has a really pretty mountain that I was going to climb. But it's windy and cold and I don't think it's a great idea to go try to climb the mountain right now. Now I'm going to have to go due north, uh, headed towards Scotland with a stop off in the Lake District. One quick pit stop at Sizeberg Castle. It's on the way to the Lake District. It's actually in the Lake District, but on the way to where I'm going. I missed the last one, so I didn't want to miss this one. And 
It's included in my English Heritage Trust membership, which I bought at Stonehenge. Salzburg Castle, very nice, very old, very cool, very well kept. And then endless construction. Really enjoyed Cheddar Gorge. Kind of happened upon it uh, without really intending to go through, but I saw it on the map and it was on the way, so I took a small detour. But it was really, really fun, and I wish I could have spent a day or two there, like hiking and exploring the town. It would have been a really interesting time. I was really looking forward to Bath, but when I got there, it was, I, I mean, I appreciated it. it was a good small town, but like the baths were kind of disappointing uh, as a highlight for a whole town. Very touristy, it didn't really do it for me. Uh, the Cotswolds, kind of the same thing. Uh, I understand Beebury was like an adorable little town and I get what they're doing and I appreciate it and I love the history. and. And the feel of it, but it just, it, it's not that different than other towns that wouldn't have taken me so far out of the way. Uh, going to Bath and Beaver meant that I couldn't go to Wales, or I didn't have time to go to Wales, which I think I would have really enjoyed. Uh, and then Sizeburg Castle was awesome, really great work by the people responsible for keeping it together, keeping it open, and, and taking care of the grounds and the property. All right.